Hi, my name is Jake Vossenkemper, Agronomy Lead at Lookerville. So today we're going to try to answer a pretty simple question. And the question is, when I'm getting my seed treated and the salesman asks, do I need the extra Brady Rhizome inoculant that he wants to sell me? Or is that just an extra added cost that I don't need? So that's the simple question we're going to try to answer today. The short answer is, I would buy the extra inoculant. Now we're going to talk about why, okay? So, just to refresh everyone's, just to remind everyone, Bradyrhizobia is the is the the bacteria that forms a symbiotic relationship with soybean. So that bacteria takes dinitrogen gas out of the atmosphere in a nodule and turns that dinitrogen gas into plant available in. Okay, so we have to have that symbiotic relationship, but Bradyrhizobium tend to survive year over year in the soil. So the question is, do I need to buy the extra inoculant? Do I need to inoculate every year? Okay. And so the, 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 the university recommendation for a long time was, if you've planted soybean in the last six to seven years, there's probably enough Bradyrhizobium in the soil that you don't need to inoculate every time you grow soybeans. In other words, there's enough residual Bradyrhizobium to form that symbiotic relationship and you should be good to go, okay? That said, and, and the, the university recommendations are not wrong. However, because I do research and development, I know a lot of things about how research is done and I know what it takes to find statistical significance. And you have to remember the university folks use statistics to make a recommendation and they should. I'm not saying you shouldn't, you absolutely should. And I use statistics in my research to make recommendations to our company and our team. But what you have to understand is that the yield increase that we're talking about today may only be a bushel or a bushel and a half or two bushel. So the yield increase from, an, from inoculating every single, every time you grow soybeans is probably not large on average, but it takes lots of locations and very well, very well run trials to find these small yield increases we're talking about. All right. So I think that's part of the problem with where the recommendations came from. So, you know, it took a very small yield increase to say, statistically speaking, we know for a fact that inoculating every time you grow soybeans is important. So now let's come to present time. So very recently, there was a paper published in um, Agronomy Journal. And what these researchers did is they ran 187 trials in the United States across the upper Midwest from 2009 to 2012. 187 trials <laughs> looking at one soybean inoculant, uh, Brady Rhizome inoculant, and that inoculant was optimized, okay? And what they reported is a highly significant 1.2 bushel yield increase at 70 bushel soybeans, okay? Now, 1.2 bushel may not seem like a lot, but it was definitely highly significant and financially that can definitely be important okay so in my opinion the, the yield increase is not large but it is there and you need to be inoculating now let's talk a little bit about inoculants in general i think it's really important that when you're deciding whether or not to use a brady rhizobium inoculant there's a lot of things that need to be considered the survivability of the inoculant not only on the seed, but in the bag. Those things are really important, okay? And so we're gonna cut to the chase and say that, you know, I'm a fan of Op Optimize, by the way, but BASF has this inoculant called Vault IP. Um, I've interacted with the BASF researchers. I think they do a fantastic job. I know for a fact they've tested over 400 different biological products on soybean seeds and looking at survivability. Uh, they've developed some patented uh, bags that they use to make sure that the product and the bacteria are survivable, uh, you know, when they get to our warehouses. And they've ensured that there's good survival once that bacteria gets put on that seed with those other um, uh, pesticides. So with Vault IP, you know, BSF is, is showing about a three bushel yield increase. There's also a, a bacteria in there called Bacillus subtilis. And that bacteria is very well known, very well studied for disease suppression, primarily probably fusarium. So the, 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 bilis, the bacillus subtilis is kind of a bonus, um, and that may be important in some cases, but the Brady rhizobium uh, inoculant is probably the, the most important piece of that inoculant. So I like Optimize, I have a lot of experience with it, 
Um, Vault IP uh, looks to me to be a, a step above Optimize. Um, so the bottom line is, do I need to spend that extra money or is it just an extra cost? And I think that it's, a, it's, a, it's an investment that's got um, some return associated with it. Stay in the know with Liquid Grow.